It's been about 65 million years, give or take a few, since an asteroid slammed into Earth, most likely, and caused the mass extinction that killed the dinosaurs off. Which means there's a pretty big gulf of time between when the dinosaurs lived and our present time. And yet, we feel pretty confident, apparently, that we can walk around and draw pictures of dinosaurs all day long. But have you ever wondered how we know what dinosaurs looked like? It turns out that we make a lot of guesses, and we make those guesses, well, not me, but paleontologists, scientists, humans like me, from fossils. Fossils are the remains of dinosaurs or other animals where the bone, the biological material that makes up the bone, is slowly replaced with minerals and other hard materials so that the bone literally becomes rock. And if you take all these fossils, all the fossils in the world that we've ever dug up and put them together, you have what's called the fossil record. You can think of the fossil record as pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. We're missing a lot of stuff in the middle, but the fossil record makes up the puzzle edges, and that's a pretty good place to start. And the places we do start are with the bones. For example, just how bones fit together tell us a tremendous amount about how dinosaurs moved and stood and hung around. Teeth tell us whether a dinosaur was a carnivore, like with sharp pointy teeth, or was a vegetarian, because they have flat leaf-shaped teeth. And depressions in the skull show us just how well a dinosaur could see or hear. But these are just bones still, right? True, but in some instances, paleontologists have really, really lucked out. For example, in North Dakota in 1999, a paleontologist named Tyler Lyson found an Edmontosaurus, not only with the bones intact, but also some tissue fossilized. From this, CT scans have been taken, and we've learned a treasure trove of information about dinosaurs. For example, feathers. It's true, not all dinosaurs were scaly creatures. Some had hair-like filaments, kind of like a pig. Others had feathers. And we know this thanks to things called quill barb marks, which are little depressions in the bone where the feathers would connect. Not all paleontologists are comfortable with calling these things feathers. Some like to call them augmentary structures or protofeathers, whatever. These dinosaurs, including some very famous ones like Velociraptor, had something that you would call a feather. Even more astounding, these feathers appear to have been pretty colorful too. In 2012, paleontologists did a scan of a microraptor and found something called melanosomes, little tiny structures in a cell that hold pigment, kind of like what gives your hair pigment. These melanosomes found on this microraptor indicate that the feathers were iridescent, which would have looked pretty awesome when the thing was coming at you to tear your throat out. Considering that paleontologists are working literally with just piles of bones, the evidence they've come up with and the ideas that they've made about what dinosaurs look like is pretty impressive. Are you impressed with dinosaurs? We want to know all about your dinosaur love. Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hang out with us at our cool website, brainstuffshow.com.